Hi there YouTube, it's Joe again. Um, I'm back doing the second half of my sales update from the month of April. Um, I, if you can remember, I got up to this like hype t-shirt here. Um, since doing the video, um, they've uh, done an eBay, they've updated the eBay app, so you can't get that sort of screen, well I can't seem to find it the way which displayed it slightly nicer, so we've got this one which isn't quite as good, but should hopefully do the job. Should show you what I sold and prices that I got. I'll try and go fairly quick. I know there was a few comments on the last video saying I was whizzing through it, but I just was you know, aware that it was taking so long. So um, the next thing to go on the 15th was this um, Mulan uh, Game Boy game, 6 95 and it went overseas. So it didn't make a huge amount of money on that, but I think it came as a bundle or something. This Steelbook trilogy version of Jurassic Park, I paid a pound on that and got 7 95 back. So that one was a large letter. So not huge money, but not bad. Another one of these bodybuilder books, which I bought a bundle of um, three of them for five quid and I've got the £30 one left but I sold this one for 15 quid and another one for two ninety five. Um, sorry for twelve ninety five. so money back on those and doing really well with them. Sony PSP, now a lot of PSP games aren't really worth bothering with but a few of them you can do alright with and I just bundled these three up. You can get three PS3s in a large letter, it just fits, you can sort of just squeeze them in so that's why I tend to do them in bundles of three otherwise you go over that you have to start paying a bit more on postage but that's why I did that and that went overseas. Levi's, a uh, pair of 509s are turned into shorts, I've said this on a few videos as well, if you've got a pair of Levi's which are in really bad condition with the hems or you're struggling to shift just snip them off, roll up the sort of snip them off under the knee, roll it up a few times and lift them as shorts, particularly in the summer. You might be able to shift a few like that, especially say if they've got really terrible hems or they've got like a mark or a stain lower down them. That's a good way of salvaging them. Bundle of NAF PS1 games. I think I paid a pound each for those or I got them in a bundle but um, or 50p, something like that. Not much money, but not much profit either. This Oh Lucky Man DVD, I scanned this one in, it came up as like £2.50 or something like that, so I thought there was money in that. Yeah, it went for eleven ninety five for free shipping. A pair of Adidas Neo or for like trains, I can't remember what I paid for these, but I got 20 quid with free shipping. These Nike Airs, um, Harachis, you can't see them very well in that picture. Um, I paid up on those, but um, yeah, I, can't, I think I paid 20, did I pay 15 or 20 quid at the boot sale? Something like that, quite a lot. But yeah, 47 quid back on them. There were leather Harachis in black ones, ID ones in really good condition. Wii Mario Kart, I sell this quite often with two wheels. You can just about make them out there in the game. 24 quid for that. Street Fighter 2, uh, SNES game, 14 quid with shipping overseas. Mr. and Mrs. This sparkly box, pink one is the best one to sell that I find. Um, 15 quid on that, which is nice. Uh, Mickey's Dangerous Chase, couple of Game Boy games, goes a large letter, uh, 96p to post or 70 eight piers or something like that second class so yeah not too bad on that fans i've had i've had these pair of fans they're really nice condition and going back a couple of years i would have gotten probably 25 quid for those but vans yeah the market's dropped out of those a little bit i think i've said that on videos um they're not quite as fashionable or quite as popular as they were so yeah 15 quid on those these white ones still do well around summer time so i got 22.50 on those but it's it's worth sort of having these some of these sort of figures in mind when you're going around at the boot sale and someone wants six pound for a pair of vans or four pound or something. You know, there's a sort of there is a ceiling on the price that you're ever going to get for those. So you just need to be aware and sort of taking all your fees and your postage into consideration. Grand Theft Auto Five, just disc one. You can still sell that for about seven quid, and I paid a pound for that. Fear Effect, um, the fat box version of that on the PS1. I mean, I've sold a few PS1 games off recently, only a couple, but, you know, the money's sneaking up on these. This, you know, yeah, they're just going up and up on every week for it. Well, not every week, but, you know, month to month, or you look at sort of six months' time, stuff's sneaking up. So, yeah, that's one to be uh, to look out for, and that went to Portugal. This Trapdoor game that I paid a pound or 154, got 16 quid for that. That's, you know, it, it, it wasn't in great condition, so pleased with that. Zig and Zag Dolls, the plush, paid 50p for that, 9.99 back on that. I tend not to bother with plushes and stuff like that unless they're a bundle or decent ones. Um, that's, that sounds obvious though, doesn't it? Bundle or decent ones, you know, but so many of them and, you know, even at 10 quid, you know, there's only about six quid profit in that, so it's not it's not great. Um, Dead Kennedy's CD, which paid a pound for, got 7.95 for that. This Pyrotology game, I've had this for ages and I just couldn't shift it and sort of, it was it was almost like new inside, so just gradually brought the price down on that. I'm just going to see if the flash makes it any better. No, not really. Um, this Lego Man had a couple of these, which I picked up um, in the bottom of a box um, in a charity shop and got five quid for that with shipping overseas. True Blood Series 1, paid a pound for that and got 6.95 back, so again, not really much money in it. This was a pair of Dr. Martins. I've had loads of these now. I've only got a couple of pairs left. This pair was unboxed and it was actually bent. The back of them was bent. So I got 48 quid for them and the international shipping, having paid 25 on them. So yeah, not bad. Picked up a bundle of Pokemon cards and I sold 
um, the tins, and then I have a few cards which are worth selling by themselves. I think I've got a few coming up later on. Having paid three pound for the set, I've got twenty one quid for the tins, and then I got four quid for this uh, this Charizard. It's not the first edition Charizard, which goes for about sort of 30, 30 quid plus, but you know four quid on that. I tend to with things like this, I tend to try and not list them. If they're down to sort of two ninety five, three ninety five, I tend just not to list them. I think it's sort of almost not really worth your time when they get that low. But three ninety five, and it's only sort of a normal stamp, it's still reasonable. A pair of five O ones, twenty five quid, nice ones. This I did really well on ninety quid for this three uh, DS. First time I've ever sold a three DS, I think. Um, I sold the games before, and I took two games that I took Mario Kart and Indiana Jones out of this bundle, which I paid twenty five quid for, and so yeah, did really well with that. G-Star Raw, these biker arc loose train um, jeans, I've never had those before, they're a real interesting cut and got 42 quid for them so I was really pleased with that. Final Fantasy X strategy guide was in brilliant condition, having paid a pound for that got 20 quid back on that and that snuck in as a large letter. White Reebok workout um, trainers, classics, I, I, I tried to do alright with these, I, I, I didn't think there'd be much money in them but yeah, um, 21.50 on those having paid a couple of quid, sorry I'm moving around a bit here. Just balance that. This teapot, this Marmite one, 13 quid for that. Um, having paid a pound fifty or I think for a couple of quid, so not much money in it, but not bad. Those sorts of things tend to do quite well. The branded stuff, use things like Marmite or Heinz beans, those sorts of things. So yeah, I could do all these. Funny story about these, 30, 32 quid I got for this pair of Nikes and sent them to the guy. Actually, I didn't, as, as I was packing them up, I noticed that they were t there was it was a size nine. One was a size nine and one was a size eight, but they were exactly a pair. And so I thought, oh, I've got an option. I can either message the guy beforehand or let him know. I thought, sod it. I'm just going to post them because I, I can't really resell them as an eight or nine. So I thought, I've got a buyer. I sent them to him. He did find, He did realise that they were two different sizes. I apologised and I said, look, mate, do you want to take 15 quid refund and just keep them? And he was happy to. So I got 16 quid. Um, so I can't remember what I paid for them. I think about four or five quid maybe. So made a, made a bit of, made some money on them, even though it was an odd pair of trainers. So I was really pleased with that. 19 quid for this Mario paint box. It was in really bad condition, but an example of, again, how SNES stuff is just sneaking up. You know, 19 quid for that. That would have been 10 quid a few, not a few years back. Selling off the last sort of bundle of these um, Pizza Hut cups, branded Star Wars ones, 11 quid for those. I've already sold the, um, the X-Men ones, which came with that. Nice pair of uh, Converse, 18 quid for those. A pair of Vans, Canvas the Whites, True Whites, 22.50. So it'll give you an idea of what I get for uh, Converse, roughly. These DVDs, which I paid a pound for, got 14 quid on that set, which was nice. Transmutation, uh, just a, DVD, um, a CD, uh, 7 quid with international shipping out into America. Harry Potter box set, that was new and sealed. That's one which I think, I can't remember what I paid for these box sets. I got them on the same day. It was either a quid or two quid for the box sets and a pound for the normal DVDs, I think. Last set of these Marvel graphic novels, which was uh, decent. I paid 35 quid for a big bundle of them, and I've sold, yeah, I've made loads of money back. This is pretty much all profit on those ones. These weight loss for dummies, this is a Pilates one. You can do all right on some of those. So that's, yeah, six quid on that one, which is quite happy with. This Steel Battalion and the Line of Contact, I've got 10 watches on this currently because this guy bought it and then didn't realise that you have to have a spe um, specific controller to play it. So unfortunately, that's been refunded. This was great, Buffy and... Um, um, uh, Angel complete box sets. I paid five quid for each. They so say ten quid for them. Listed them sixty quid. Sold within a uh, within a couple of days. Minifigure new gun rate. I think this was a limited edition one, which which came with one of the um books. Um, don't quote me on that, but yeah, four pound fifty for that. So not great. Picked a couple of these um AVG antiviruses. One person's had trouble with this, but everyone else has seemed to be all right. So yeah, twelve quid for those. Having paid, I think one pound fifty, it worked out for them. Really good pick up these Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2 go for really good money. 30 quid is pretty much the top, the higher end of it and it went overseas so I've got international shipping on top. Nice pair of diesel women's jeans. I tend to steer clear of a lot of diesel women's jeans but these are uh, Roth and N ones you do alright with. Speed stacks 13 quid plus £5 shipping. I've just sold another set of those, um, the black ones. This was good as well. This was almost like a... a a freebie thing this uh universal adapter for the um n64 and it came with pokemon stadium the us version of that and i got 40 quid for those and i couldn't really get that to work very well i did test it but i could only sort of get a fuzzy picture but the guys left me positive feedback and i did explain all that so that was great metal gear solid peace walker psp game 10 quid for that these are really nice the second set of these i've had these sony data cartridges do look out for this sort of stuff um sort of old not old media but you know just sort of 
media that isn't you know, the people don't not everybody's going to use these went to a cctv company interestingly enough um so i guess they use them to record data on and so on so yeah 40 quid for those having paid eight pound for the whole set and i had two of those and i got the same price for the last ones donkey jacket another cd eight quid for that ben 10 this omnitrix stuff i only picked that up because they're like 50p each and i know people do well with them those weren't even complete but a tenner so yeah i made a bit of money if i got, could find a big bundle of them i'd probably go again with them but not for just one or two not really worth it Converse, these weren't in great condition, but 18 quid on those. PS3 games, uh, the Lego ones always do well bundling up, so 16 quid for that. Lego Batman, 750 an international shipping Wii game. Nice sale here, Ocean Trader board game, having paid two quid for this, or no, it might have been a pound. I think it was a pound or two quid for it at the car boot sale, 70 quid. So yeah, great sale there. A couple of Xbox Connect games, either I paid a pound each or something like this, or two for a pound at either the boots or charity shops and not much money in those the connect game's not really worth bothering with this lego dc alarm clock which i got for a couple of quid got 10 quid back on it his cape was quite frayed and it wasn't in great condition wouldn't bother again with that really um dad's army the complete box set this is one of the ones which i got out of that um of those uh, the family at the boot sale for a couple of quid they had loads of sealed media so that was a really nice sale lego marvel nine quid for that game superheroes which i got out of the free eight three ds bundle Converse uh, uh, size 4 Chuck Taylors 20 quid for them these green ones were in quite nice condition paid a couple of quid for them and got or maybe 3 quid got 20 back these have had for a while these ugly little um, Air Force ones 10 quid just to keep dropping the price Wii Sports yeah, the original game I tend to put things like PAL 5 bowling golf tennis baseball boxing because if you just type in Wii Sports in when you're doing the search you get so much come up so you really want to try and you get all the accessories and any sports sort of related games so I find putting the word 5 because it has 5 sports and those things in it help refine your search and I find those sell really quickly maybe 6.99 is a little bit underpriced but yeah I was pleased with that Game Boy Game 5.29 with free shipping uh, Night crib trainers these are like the real tiny baby ones I paid a couple of quid for those sold really quickly these night rift it always amazes me people buy these 20 quid home paid three quid for those pair of um air force ones which weren't in very good condition 15 quid simpsons that's got refunded why has that got refunded oh yeah that the person bought it and, and they just said it was it scratched up and it wasn't playing so i've got it sent back so i will um i'll resurface that one and uh and yeah just just sell it again um so that's that Motown uh, PS2 game that one's worth picking up and selling by itself 749 on that uh, pair of Converse they sort of like I don't know if I should click on this oh yeah it's gonna mess me up now yeah they had sort of a skull pattern on them which was really nice so yeah they were quite a nice pair of trainers now I'm gonna struggle to get back here aren't I I oh, know let's see yeah there we go so they were decent oh what have I done Sorry about that. Yeah, so where was I? Um, the Witcher Enhanced PC game uh, got uh, 10 quid on that. It was a big box, so it had to go as like a £2.70 Hermes parcel, so that wasn't a great amount of money in that. Four Smiths um, CDs, having paid like sort of 10p's, 50p's for those. Um, I've, you can get, I've said this again, I'll say, you know, you can get four um, CDs in an F3 bag, still goes a large letter, so that was 168 to post those, so that was nice. Vintage Rummy Cub, 12 quid, not great, but not bad. Halo 2, 1 and 2, got 12.99. Those were in mint condition, had all the bits and pieces in there, so that was really nice. N64, uh, with a couple of games, 50 quid for that, and a two sort of generic um, controllers, so I was pleased with that sale. John Adams Hot Wires Complete, interesting. People are selling this for 15 quid. Um, mine was at 25 quid, so I picked that off, so I was pleased with that. Another Game Boy game. Uh, this was a nice sale. These I was selling these for 59 quid um, about six months ago and then had another set of them, put them on for 65 and they sold with international shipping, so that was nice. Um, that's uh, yeah, Mario Kart, Mario World, Mario All-Stars, the holy trinity of the Mario games for the SNES. Uh, another CD there. This uh, is like a tease made, 15 quid, having paid a couple of quid for it with free shipping, so not great, but easy sale. Dino Crisis 3, I've sold another copy of that just recently for 8 quid, but I put it on 750 for this one, so I upped the other one. Women's Asics Trainers, 5 quid for those I paid, 22.50 back. Converse ones, um, All Star Players, uh, yeah, 22 quid having paid. I think I paid £3.50 for those or something. They were in a half price sale at one of the charity shops. Champions Return to Arms, uh, 12 quid on this. Now I got a message off this guy saying that it didn't work, and I said, well, you can either, do you want a couple of quid to go and resurface it? At, for, uh, um, a game do you want to send it back what do you want to do and then I've just never heard anything from the guy <laughs> sorry I dropped a hair off my head um, so yeah I just 
I've not heard anything back from them. I've had a few things like that recently where people are saying there's a problem with something or something isn't quite working or there's a bit missing. And I'm saying, well, what do you want to do? Do you want a partial? Do you want how, how do you want to take this forward? And then just don't hear anything from them. I'm not sure if they're scammers or if they're just trying it on or what's going on. But yeah, so I've not heard anything back. So happy with that. Uh, 12 quid for this set of four sort of pretty old PS3 uh, games. This is always a good seller. New Super Mario Brothers, thirteen seventy nine. I think you can maybe get fifteen quid, but my manual was really uh, broke and bent in half in really bad condition. Five Sing Star games, sixteen quid on that with um, shipping. Lego Jurassic World. I've got a few of these. Um, Nineteen quid on that. Uh, Sing Star Bollywood worth selling by itself. Seven ninety five. Sold this to another reseller. Well, I'd like to a massive. Um, company who's got loads of games listed loads of media listed and he sent me a message saying always oh, have you got tracking for this and he obviously knows I wouldn't have tracking for it and I just replied and said sorry I've not um it was sent normal delivery um and he's like okay well it's not arrived and then that was again was about a week ago and I've not heard anything back from him about that so maybe he's waiting for Monday and he'll message me again did well with this sterling stuff I sold the better quality stuff already for I think 30 quid and I just got 20 quid for that this was a nice sale four quid I paid for this vintage Fisher Price cassette tape recorder and microphone it was boxed and got 50 quid for that use the words like prop and stuff like that as a tip that some people have given um, for some of this vintagey sort of retro stuff so yeah that was quite cool um, here's the Mario Kart so 19 quid for that just the just the cart which I'd sold from the which I'd broken down from the bundle which I picked up Canvas, uh, nice Converse, blue, blue size nine, excellent condition, twenty six fifty. Guitar Hero Live, um, if anybody, I, it didn't have the dongle in it, and the guy didn't read it, so I had to, re I had to refund him, unfortunately. And then these two, these uh, minifigures, the same guy, he didn't realise they weren't the ones he wanted, so refunded those. Rush Hour Board Game, ten quid plus five pound international shipping. I wouldn't recommend picking those up. I've got a couple, but yeah, they're not great. Another CD, six quid. Miss Potato Head Bundle, 20 quid. Um, not great, but not bad. And these cake toppers, these sort of, um, where are we? They're sort of like a, it's a load of um, old, uh, there we go. Quite nice, actually. Uh, um, Toy Story 3 figures and so on. I put the word cake topper in the listing, and that seemed to do the trick, and they went. Lego and Indiana Jones, seven quid. Some more Pokemon cards from that twenty-one um, from that three-pound bundle. A set of shiny hollow ones for ten quid. This Boggle re reinvention, the one which has got the um, built-in timer, got seventeen quid for that. The Camelback, which was missing the uh, the bladder, still at fourteen quid for that. WWE Legacy of Stone Cold paid a quid for that and got six back. I think we're coming to the end of April now, nearly. Uh, Seventeen ninety-five for a nice pound pair of Converse. A couple of um. Pokemon trading cards, six quid and four quid for each of them. House of the Dead 2 and 3, 16 quid. That was new and sealed, so quite nice. PS2 Resident Evil always sells. Um, yeah, seven quid on that one. Tomb Raider big box game, 10 quid plus international shipping, so that went overseas. Four Jimmy Eat World CDs for like 10p each, pound, you know, to 50p to whatever I picked up for those. Um, they would have been 50p or less sort of CDs. I wouldn't have paid a pound for one of those because they're just not worth selling by themselves. Harry Potter, this is the same box set that I sold, I sold earlier in the month, but it's one was open, so I got a pound less for that. Sims 2 Apartment Life, I always go top end on that, 19 quid, and it does sell, so yeah, I was really pleased with that. These Diesel Wikey jeans, I had, I think I paid 10 quid for those out of a charity shop, and I had them on at 49, took an offer of 40 on them. Zumba Fitness, 17 quid on that, which was nice. I picked up another one of those um, when I had this one listed. I had this one listed for eighteen ninety nine. I picked up another one, so I just knocked the price down to sixteen ninety nine and sold the pair of them. Sometimes do that. I just take a little bit less, but you've got a repeat listing. It's just easy. Another one of these antivirus softwares. And now I think that's us, yeah, into the 1st of May. So there we go. So that's got through it. So, yeah, the April was particularly good. Uh, my sales have slowed down a little bit. This month, but still doing all right. Still had some uh, some pretty nice things, some interesting things on there. Um, yeah, I won't I won't sort of sneak into that yet. But yeah, really pleased with how it's gone. So that's my month roundup. It gives you an idea of the sort of stuff that I sell. I sell a, a, occasionally. I might sell one or two things off of a one or two things a month. That is off of a second account. Just things that I'm a bit concerned about or worried they might give me hassle. So this is pretty much everything. And occasionally I'll do something on Gumtree. Um, but yeah, I hope that gives you an idea of what you you can do in a month. I suppose if you really if, you're, if you've got decent pickups or you've got like a good amount of time you can spend on it. I mean, my eBay business, I'm getting up and at six o'clock, sort of two hours, two and a half hours before work most days. And that's the time which I spend photographing and listing. Um, so 
yeah, it doesn't happen by accident, this stuff. You've got to graft and you've got to make sure you're getting it listed and do the research and the cleaning and so on and so forth. So, yeah, this is, I suppose, the culmination of five years of growing and developing a business and, yeah, what you can achieve if you've got, like, decent stock and dis- decent, uh, you know, just, a like, a fairly good system for getting stuff listed and getting stuff on. I try and list items that have, like, a slightly higher value. I try and only list items sort of under the £10 value that are just one photo or a repeat listing just to try and maximise my time. So stuff like this vintage rummy cup probably wouldn't bother with again not really worth my time it's only gonna be sort of five six pounds unless i could find exactly the same one so i'll have the listing saved so yeah that's that's how i try and do things that's what i'm about and i hope to say that gives you some sort of insight and i hope your sales are going well i know it's been a tough um may for a lot of people but you never know things will hopefully pick up cheers guys best of luck bye